Good morning. This is Phyllis from SouthernFrugal.com and it's time for our smoothie this morning and I've gone ahead and peel my bananas because they uh, were way too thawed out. So I'm just going to dump those in right to start with. Four little cubes of kale. So that would be eight tablespoons of kale. And I'm also fixing um, two 20 ounce smoothies. That's what I'm hoping to have anyway. And this morning we're not putting quite so much in there because yesterday we didn't get hungry at all. So I think I needed to cut back. So what we've got are two cubes of almond butter, one cube of sunflower pulp, and then two of uh, uh, dates. So I'm going to dump those in. Some of that's still frozen just a little bit. And of course I'm using the dates to sweeten everything, sweeten it a bit. I'm going to go ahead and put in the peanut butter right up front here. Oh, y'all can't see. There. I'm going to go ahead and, that's probably, I don't know, two tablespoons, maybe a little more. Put that in. Yeah, the, 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 uh, Peanut butter kind of gets on the side of the beaker here, and you, I actually have to put my dish rag down in there and wash it all. All right, let me get my hand wiped off here. Okay, so this morning I've got one pear left, so I'm just going to go ahead and put that in. It has gotten soft. When I first thought it, it was like green, so I wanted to make sure I didn't. Uh, you know, let it go bad, really. It's soft and juicy now, and probably sweet. Peeling off that little dark places on there. And just cut it in half. And then just Cut out those seeds and that little stringy thing at the end. Now I like pears, but in the store, it's hard to get them when they're just perfectly ripe. You have to kind of get them green and let them, you know, ripen up. All right, so now we're back to the uh, little juicer. I decided I wanted to be able to get a lot of pulp from these oranges. Now see, this one looks pretty good. Although, look at the difference in the color. Isn't that something? Since these have very little seeds on them, I'm just going to juice them and hopefully that way I can use all the pulp. Okay, here we go. This is a little Black and Decker juicer. I think I've got uh, a little icon on my products I recommend on my website. Yeah, that worked. See all the pulp I'm getting and I don't really think there are any seeds or at least none so far. And what this little thing does is it turns one way and then next time you hold down on it, it turns the other way. So, yeah, see how much pulp I'm getting in there? Lots of pulp, which is what I'm looking for. It's it pretty good. So now I'm going to actually just dip out, see, all the pulp, or as much as I can get. Alright. 
goes in the sink. These go in the little bucket for the compost bin. There we got our juice. And those two oranges made right out one cup of orange juice. So I'm going to put that in. And I'm going to add enough water to bring it up. This little beaker up to 40 ounces, which won't take too much. There we go. All right, we are ready to blend this out in the Vitamix. It's going to be good and cold this morning, and hopefully not too thick. All right, y'all ready? Here we go. stuff it will it won't do that on the side but stir that down a little bit all right let's give this a taste hmm delicious hmm. and I use those dates what I do is just blanch them in hot water and then I put them in the body mix and grind them all up and then freeze them in ice trays and that really becomes our sweetener. Alright, I'm going to mix it up. Let's do some chia seeds. Hold on. I always forget about the chia seeds but it looks like I'm just going to put uh, a tablespoon of the chia seeds. And again, I order these through uh, Amazon. And these are the white chia seeds. And they come from Australia. There you go. Let's see. Anyway, I know they come from Australia. Yeah. Australian grown. They're right there. Chia seeds. All right, so what they do is thicken it up a little bit, probably. All right, so here we go again. All right, that ought to do it. We're ready for our breakfast. Yeah, yesterday. Let me talk to you about that in a minute. Yesterday, I put, uh, I don't even remember all that was in it, but I put um, sunflower seed pulp, almond butter, uh, lentils, and I forget what, another thing. Oh, dates. And uh, anyway, <laughs> it was so much that we, even though I fixed the, the sweet and sour pork chops, when it came time to eat, we had a very late lunch. We still weren't hungry, so, and of course we ate anyway, but anyway, all right, so here we go. So I'm trying to cut back a little bit on the lentils and that kind of thing. All right, hopefully this is right at 40 ounces. Now the chia seeds will make this uh, even creamier. Once you put them in the Vitamix, they, they give a really super creamy con, um, texture to the smoothies. And of course, they're very, very healthy for you too. All right. I did good this morning. All right. I'm getting a lot, lot better at judging the amount so I don't have overage. All right, here we go. I already know it's good. See it complete. I don't know if you can see that. It completely ground up those little chia seeds. And once uh, chia seeds get wet, 
has sort of formed this thing, kind of like egg whites, really, that, that thick. And so they make it really super creamy. Certainly don't taste the greens in this, but I do taste the uh, peanut butter, of course, and I can taste the orange a little bit. I don't taste the banana at all, and certainly uh, I probably can taste the almonds a little bit this morning. Yeah, I can taste the almonds just a little bit this morning. All right, there it is. All right, so we will see y'all next time.